So this is uh, marking the shoulder for uh, shoulder arthroscopy, specifically for uh, rotator cuff surgery or doing a biceps tenodesis, uh, but not how I would mark it for instability surgery. The key point to start off with is the, the point where the posterior clavicle meets the chromium, we call the Novosio portal. That's that point there. If it's an obese patient, then that's and it's difficult to localize, you can follow the um, the clavicle from the front across to the back. From that point, you want, then want to mark the posterolateral corner of the acromion, okay, and the anterolateral corner of the acromion, which is here, okay, and that should make a isosceles triangle, okay. You can then roll the edge of the lateral acromion with three fingers and join up those two lines, okay, and then follow the anterior acromion onto the clavicle and down down the front, okay and then join up the back of the clavicle to back to your Navisio portal, okay? And that will indicate exactly where your AC joint which is, is there. You can then f follow the acromion back onto the spine and the other, the posterior aspect of the spine across to your post posterior lateral corner. Okay. In terms of ports, our posterior port is one centimetre inferior and posterior to our posterior corner, just like there. At the front, we then mark our coracoid, which is perpendicular down from the clavicle, and the conjoint tendon, I like to mark down, and it heads down towards the apex of the anterior axillary fold. You can then put in your sail ligament, in terms of anterior portals, I use one which is two centimeters inferior to the tip of the coracoid and just lateral to the conjoint tendon. One at the same level, two centimeters laterally. And again, using your two fingers, go for your pure lateral port, go slightly, slightly superior. Thank you.